recording? All right, so uh, Porter McRoberts, wonderful, lovely patient, and patient's <laughs> husband. So we're in the midst of this corona or whatnot. Um, so this is a, uh, a video, I just want to explain things a little bit, just so we understand what happened. Um, how long have you been my patient? Forever. Okay. Forever. A long time. Uh, oh, really? And you had a... Six, 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 seven years. Six, seven years. More. Yeah, at least. Yeah. So if you had a stimulator implant, we're not going to say the company, because that almost, it doesn't matter. Okay. But it, it gave traditional stimulation, right. tonic, what we call tonic right. stimulation. Right. And that had been doing fairly well. Yes. Right. And um, what's also interesting is um, one son is a pain physician, the other son is a spine surgeon. So extremely well informed. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, sure. So um, MG uh, had a a normal tonic spinal cord stimulator placed, and it worked pretty well. Over time, that seemed to change and deteriorate in terms of uh, usefulness. usefulness. And so you came back to me and you said, things are not working, I'm worried that I need surgery, I want an MRI. And this particular stimulator was not MRI compatible, and so we removed the stimulator, and we got an MRI, and we saw moderate to severe stenosis of the foramen where we had some surgery, and so it was narrowing, and it was pinching down the nerve, and I looked at this and I thought, my goodness, I think maybe we have to consider surgical decompression, but that meant a whole host of other things, not just the decompression, but then also the fusion, and maybe because of that level, another fusion at a different level, and then maybe even a third level, because that's what's going to happen, it's a triple effect, so really a three level fusion. So your, your sons, and I'm speaking for you, but I want to let you speak yeah, for a second. Please. Your sons called me and said, no, I don't think we need to have surgery. This is just a road to disaster. Let's try the stimulator again. And I said, okay, well, it wasn't working, but then things have changed. And that's what the whole point of this talk is, is that things have changed really significantly from six, seven years ago. Now we have new waveforms that I think are vastly different, vastly that's better. Different. And so the point is, what now we're able to do a head-to-head -head comparison, N of one study. This is the Pepsi challenge okay. of stimulation. Old stimulation versus new stimulation. So how are you feeling? The like, new is much better. Because and how much the better? The old one, at least 80%. Okay. The old one, you kept he feeling the tingling. Yes. You know, so you could go up or down or play with it. Yes. And this is more calming. Okay. And I don't feel anything. You don't feel anything? No. That's very important. So now, not only do you not feel any stimulation, you don't feel the as, pain much, as much. So, so here's here's two subsequent questions. And if if the stimulation worked previously, uh, would you care about the the feeling? Or did that bother you that much? No. No. I mean, it was a no. fair trade, right? I mean, stimulation right. feeling for pain relief. At least what I was told right. by patients. Always better not to feel any pain. Right. But the question is this is how much better, so no stimulator was two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Three weeks ago. No stimulator to now. Now, this is severe radiculopathy, pinched nerve in the neural foramen, pain going down the leg. What we normally do pretty well with stimulation, so that pain versus today, how much improvement? I would say at least 80% improvement. Not yeah. taking the medicines as much. No, that one medicine blew me up. Those uh, gabapentin. Yes. Oh, and and pregabalin. Yes. So 80% improvement, which has made life much easier. I see a smile. <laughs> Only because there were times I would be walking and all of a sudden I felt like I was going to collapse. Yes. I couldn't walk any further. And now I can walk. And what's amazing, the anatomy is the same. You didn't have the surgery. You didn't decompress the nerve. We didn't cut out the foramen. We didn't fuse you. And here you are with 80% improvement. Now, and it's early. I mean, I'm a skeptic, always. But you're a recidivist, habitual user of neuromodulation, so you understand right. more than most, I think. So, here's the second question. Old stimulator versus new stimulator. I know it's better, but the question is how much better? I would say 100% better, because I don't feel that tingling sensation. Okay. You know, and sometimes I would put it on and it would be so high, I thought it was going to die <laughs> yeah. in order for me to get it down lower. And this, I, I don't feel anything, 
you know, it just eases it. Okay, now the most important questions, which are, someone's watching this probably who has never had a simulator, or has an old simulator and is saying this thing is worthless. What counsel, or what, what if I you had the opportunity to talk to them, what I would you say? I would recommend this to anyone that is ever thinking about getting a stimulator of any sort, because it, it changed my life. I really felt like, is this what is this all there is? I really felt like I'm going to die. I can't walk. What, you know what? What's going to happen? And here I am. Very good. Any other thoughts or counsel to anyone else? No. Also, you're off the medications. And also, I am on no medications other than just the stimulator, which wow. is amazing. So is I good. would recommend this to everyone, including my wonderful doctor. Porter McRoberts, the best, and Kyle, the um, Nevro representative. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right.